Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this session. Which are the best markets today trade? Probably one of the most commonly asked questions that comes up on a daily basis. So I'm going to cover a number of alternatives, what I look for in trading a market, and uh, basically give you a range of options. Let's start off with a disclaimer. We do know trading, uh, traders I should say, that there is a risk in trading. Don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose. Start on the simulator before you start trading real money. Now, very quick advertisement. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that uh, you'll be kept up to date with all of the videos that I put out. And uh, please click on the description link below to receive my free ebook, The Truth About Day Trading. And also I have a training manual as well so click on the link below and you'll be able to get those and even better still become a member for $197 you can gain all of my indicators the hundreds of hours of training of live trading sessions there's um, look it's just a massive information as one of my, my members described it's basically a gold mine and all of that for $197 and on top of that as a bonus you can attend eight of my live coaching sessions so each week I run two live two-hour coaching sessions and uh, if you can't attend the sessions they are recorded and they uh, run from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time then after your first month if you wish you can continue then at $97 a month so that's included uh, but that's an option uh, once again so when you join for 197 uh, we'll send you an email after your month to see whether you'd like to take it further okay end of advertisement let's now get into this so traders when we consider a market to trade we've got to remember that every market has its own personality and what you'll discover particularly in the areas of say trading futures or Forex you'll see that the margins will differ that is each market has a margin money you've got to put up with your broker for an example with the ES you have a lower day trading margin and even overnight margin if you hold overnight positions which we'll discuss in a moment than say on the NQ and the reason being on the NQ you've got much greater volatility uh, and it moves a lot further each day you have wider swings in say the ES therefore you require a larger margin now margins can also change that is subject to what's happening around the world for an example during the COVID situation we saw oil margins went up right through the roof so you had to have like twelve thirteen thousand uh, dollars with your broker if you held overnight positions and then there's what we call day trading margins which we'll discuss in a moment so each market has its personality what I'm looking for is a market that trends well has a good daily range that's how we make our money has good daily trading volume because we want to know that there's lots of uh, buyers or sellers on the other side of us um, which are the best markets to trade and the great thing about that nowadays tra traders is that many markets are open for trading 23 hours a day five days a week uh, with many of the futures contracts they actually close turn off and reboot the computer so that takes an hour so you'll see they uh, close at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time then the markets reopen at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time and that's what we um, uh, actually call the let me get this right the Globex session sorry about that that's what we call the globex session so the markets close for an hour at that stage so if we go back to this here so do I have good trading volume what are the best hours to trade so of course uh, you'll find if you're trading Forex London the London open you'll tend to find that your best volume on the Forex market is during the London session uh, you'll find with say the currency futures markets uh, with Forex and with the ES uh, even with oil the Texas T the um, uh, the black gold as we call it you can there's plenty of volume to trade that market 23 hours a day now then comes down to what are the best chart time frames now 
the lower the time frame the smaller the time frame that you're trading the more what we call noise in the market but one advantage of having a lower time frame is that your stop loss is smaller because what's important with our stop loss traders is we what we call tuck it under our swing low or just above our swing high now we can use the fix a fixed stop etc but chart times that we trade can be important as I'll show you on a spreadsheet in a moment we also need to consider the best strategies to trade now what's really important I think it um, Richard Dennis said this many years ago that say if you come across a strategy that wouldn't that worked on pork bellies but wouldn't work on the ES or work on another market he wouldn't take it on you want to have a strategy that works on all time frames and all markets so otherwise you get involved in a concept called curve fitting and I highly recommend that all new members they start out trading with the trend trend trading only then of course we need to consider the best targets and stops but let's get back to our real basics here on which are the best markets. so this is what we call market analyzer so this is on ninja trade you can get this on most trading platforms where you can then put on your chart or have running at all times the markets that you're interested in so these are the markets I trade or am interested in and what this gives me is the daily volume and this is very important because I want to make sure that the market I trade has liquidity now we can see here that uh, on the ES on this particular day so uh, this is on the 24th of January 2023 it turned over uh, 1.5 million contracts in fact are uh, we uh, and it is actually for 23rd it is it's a bit after midnight um, Central Standard Time I'm recording this so on the 23rd of January 1.5 million contracts uh, down here on the micro NQ which is very popular now your micro contracts which is a huge benefit for new traders 1.7 million contracts so up here I love the currency futures market so on the euro one 173 contracts 73,000 let me get that <laughs> right and we've got on the Aussie dollar 79,000 so we can see here uh, great liquidity which is very very important now a key consideration for those that are based in the US is what we call the pattern day trading rule the PDT and what that means is that there is a legal requirement in the US whereby you can only uh, place so many day trades uh, in a week or so many trades a day during a week over a five business day period otherwise you become what they call a pattern day trader and you have to have twenty five thousand dollars in your trading account now you can start trading uh, the futures markets the Forex market with little under a thousand dollars and so it, it gets and that's what I recommend also you start with a smaller account you cut your teeth and if you've got twenty five thousand fifty hundred thousand then you can ratchet up from there so if you execute any more than four day trades over five business tra uh, days the rule kicks in okay but if you've got 25,000 no worries but even then if you've got $25,000 there are some great alternatives for you you see I, I recommend to to traders to become what I call a specialist uh, and look you can do it on stocks you might say um, focus on alphabet uh, or, um, or, or uh, say Facebook meta and become a specialist where you get to know the personality of those stocks and they really do have personalities because the personalities in a market are created by the traders and so we see the same patterns appear every day so if you've got um, uh, say uh, if you're trading stocks you may have uh, a system whereby you're scanning multiple stocks looking for a breakout etc I think there's much 
better ways of trading so if you're starting off with uh, say futures you might focus on only two. get to know the personalities of those okay ah, and very important if you ignore your brokers warnings that comes out they'll freeze your account by law for 90 days that's something that you don't want okay next thing here is that say if you're going to trade the um, the Forex market now with the Forex market you can start trading the micro accounts with only a few hundred dollars there's nothing wrong with that uh, if you want to start trading Forex on that basis because you can start uh, with many brokers where uh, you can use their trading platforms on MT4 they're free and so it can be a way of starting of getting things underway I think that uh, one of the challenges I tend to find that when you're only and with that it's only ten dollars sorry ten cents per pip where if you're trading per pip on the big contract it's ten dollars what I tend to find with newer traders when they're trading at only ten cents per pip they become a little reckless and they cut corners etc and what you've got to do is if you're trading a micro or a mini account you've got to imagine that you're trading a full-size account because we tend to create habits bad habits which we take over to trading a large account now a great alternative to the Forex market is the currency futures markets and the advantage here is that it's a contract that's manufactured or put together by the CME and with the CME uh, of course it's regulated USA based uh, it's six dollars 25 per tick on say the euro dollar uh, on the pound you've got it also on the yen and a few other markets uh, and you've got a fixed commission through your broker so you don't have a floating spread now for those that are Forex traders that are watching this stay to stick to Forex okay so if you if you love your Forex I'm not saying move away from Forex but there are other alternatives and what I love about them is that it's a regulated market our brokers in the US of course and very important whichever country in the world you are that you go with a regulated broker and say in the UK in the USA in Australia now we've got some of the best regulations for brokers there uh, which is very very important so let's just say here you, you heed my advice and you say okay I'm gonna really have a good look at the currency futures markets well six dollars 25 a tick now if you say go through ninja trader and I'm broker neutral I do not recommend and legally I'm not I'm not allowed to recommend any brokers now but with uh, say with ninja trader your round turn commission that's when you buy and sell it's four dollars seventy two round turn your commission so very very competitive it's fixed which is fantastic but most importantly how much money do I need to trade that market well I need typically on these markets around two and a half thousand dollars now let me say this the day trading margins requirements are much lower but we've got what we call the two percent rule this is something that uh, many educators uh, many brokers won't even really talk to you about because how they make their money is either selling courses or commissions brokerage getting you to trade regularly but if you're a serious day trader you never want to risk more than two percent and as you build your account you want to drop that down to one percent so if we look at this here as an example if you're say going to trade the ES and just say hypothetically if you're trading with a two tick risk okay there I need to have to stay within my two percent rule I need to have five thousand dollars in my account now you can day trade with only five hundred dollars in your account up to a thousand dollars depending on your broker however if you have a loss you're down one hundred dollars now if say during the New York hours where you want to use say a wider stop loss of say 14 ticks which is hundred and seventy five dollars you need around nine thousand dollars now the great news traders is that now these micro accounts on many of your most popular markets such as the NQ the Russell the Dow 
the ES of course and so you can trade the exact same market on a micro account which is only 10% of a value and so with the same four tick stop you only need around nine hundred dollars so what you do is you start from there and build from there and so if we go and look at say the Texas T on oil fantastic market great volatility each day so typically uh, you're going to need or need to trade between a two and a four tick rank or range chart or whatever time based chart you're trading so you're going to require between four and seven thousand dollars if you follow the two percent rule now traders there's the, the habits that we develop uh, are just so critical and the greatest challenge I have and I've got over 10,000 members now is that traders that blow their accounts because of greed that is they're sold on a 5% leverage or you can um, uh, risk 5% of your account etc if you want to stay in this business long term uh, don't do that traders because we'll come and take your money out of your account uh, you've got to follow the rules but the beautiful part is now if you don't have seven or eight thousand in your account you can now start on the micro CL which is 10% of a value so you can get going with seven hundred dollars likewise if we're trading the currency futures markets uh, and by the way the Aussie dollar for 6a is only five dollars a tick so I only need two thousand dollars in that account to trade that to stay within my two percent rule now some may then say well look it's just going to affect my plan so much but I want you to look at this very quickly so let's just say here that you start off with only one thousand dollars in your account and you decide to start trading the micro NQ the nifty NAS or you might trade the micro ES okay which is one thousand dollars maximum you need there you could probably get away with 800 and what's a good daily goal well, let's just say here you go for $50 a day on that particular market over here if you are averaging $50 a day on the micro NQ and remember the NQ got great volatility there look where you are in only 18 weeks you have the potential there of earning ten thousand dollars a week and how this table works and if you email me by the way you'll find our details are down in the description you'll be able to get this table so you can play around with this but be realistic don't go and say okay I want to earn two hundred dollars a day on a one thousand dollar account right maybe you could do that if you're working 23 hours a day be realistic Okay, but how this table works is you start off with a thousand dollars and you don't start trading your second contract until you've doubled your money you don't don't start trading three contracts until you've got triple your money so this is very conservative now over here where it says you'd be trading 45 micros well you can see by then your account size is 48,000 what you'd actually be doing is say trading four or five big contracts then so you move you um from uh, trading the micros to the big contracts so over here where it shows here that um, I'm earning twenty five thousand dollars a week with a hundred lots no you'd only be trading ten lots you trade the big contract so once you build your account so as you can see the opportunities here are fantastic now one of my favorite markets is the euro uh, currency futures markets in the yen now there very realistic targets 100 a day and you can see where you are once again in 19 weeks being conservative here on a two and a half thousand dollar account so stay and this is assuming you stay within your two percent rule once again the day trading margins are much lower than this and you may not keep all of your funds with your broker you might only keep as I recommend 60% but you've got to have that cash reserve now when it comes to day trading futures or currency futures markets uh, here is that we've also got what we call the maintenance margin that is if you carry a position past 345 central standard time uh, so if as long as you close out your position by 345 uh, 
once the market reopens an hour and 15 minutes later you can then um, and actually I think I said um, uh, the market reopens at 6 p.m. I was actually I, I, I got that wrong it's 5 p.m. Central Standard Time the market so I'm not running to a script here traders so I'm trying to think of all these things I've got to tell you so the market uh, closes then reopens at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time so if you close any open positions as you day trade you don't need to have these overnight margins but if you're day trading futures and you're holding positions open you need to have the maintenance margins okay so much more money in your account now I should point out this is all pretty basic stuff once you're taught how to do this and and once again if you by the way become a member of course you learn all of this now quickly going back to here I've already mentioned become a specialist that is specialize in a couple of markets so if one's not performing or very low volatility or it's or it's dead and every market has its quiet time quiet time you can then maybe look at trading on alternative but become a specialist that's where the big money is and I've already mentioned that the MES the NQ uh, they've now got their micro account so which is 10% of the value so you've got these uh, markets now with great uh, volatility great volume trading through those where you only need six seven eight hundred thousand dollars to trade them and it's a great stepping stone now as far as other markets go this is just looking at ninja trader which is uh, one of the fully regulated brokers in the US and what we can see here the intraday margin now that applies once again as long as you close your account off by three or sorry any open positions by 345 in the afternoon and so after uh, 5 p.m. central these margins kick back in now they they are subject to change if you've got extreme volatility in the market but you can see the alternatives that you've got here the different markets that you've got so we're on now page two so you've got the interest rates you can trade agriculture's metals some um, gold for an example you've got the energies you've got uh, uh, the European markets you can be trading so there's a lot of options there traders for you to actually be trading some of the most uh, popular ones of course are the ES and the micro ES the NQ uh, I love this I mentioned the currency uh, futures as well so there's a ton of options the big thing is what's a great market with a low margin requirements well that's perhaps where you look at the micro ES the micro NQ if you've got a few thousand you can look at the um, currency futures which are fantastic so there's a ton of options um, that you have there so if we look at that then um, we also need to consider then the market which I've already mentioned is the volatility okay we need to have a market that moves now if we just look at this for a moment oops let me just get back to there um, so if we look at what we're looking at right here now is the 6e and we can see here with the 6e each one of these steps this is actually a Renko chart and each one of these steps is worth six dollars twenty five now to net one hundred dollars a day you need 16 of those individual steps 16 ticks after commissions okay so um, how we look at it is we say uh, one tick for the broker and the balance is our money so if I was to say enter this trade now this is what we call a 2b as that is that's a 34b uh, that's a 34b now there you you wouldn't be until here one two three four five six seven eight now see that up there that's what we call the Renko tail whenever you have a target if you're doing back testing you want to make sure you tick through your target and this is by the way called a pivot that's a pivot magnet trade that's a 90% trade as is that one now so here you only need 16 of those to be netting as I mentioned before your 100 a day that's all you need 
and it can make you very wealthy the challenge is with traders is impatience and greed so very very important here traders that um, you're looking for a market where you get great volatility now the other setup here which is very very important I say to all traders is you want to really trade your deeper pullbacks what I call the 2b setups okay but there's a ton of great trades every day and, and this is what you're looking for in a market to trade so I'm getting a bit off track here now so we'll get back to, back on track so look I've covered a lot um, please subscribe to my channel uh, I'm about to actually record um, uh, another video here just on stops and targets that is where to place your stop loss and where to exit your trade if you're a day trader so remember for $197 you get all of my indicators go to my website I'm a day trader have a look at what you get there's um, nothing else like it uh, I have indicators for trade station into trader nt87 you name it all of my indicators are included plus you can attend my live coaching sessions where I teach you step by step how to day trade so um, click on the link below to join if not or actually I shouldn't say if not but <laughs> either way please make sure you subscribe to my channel thank you traders I'll see you in the next video